Abargani, Kaumba Habargani, Habargani, Kaumba Habargani. Right. Okay. Thank you. So this is the sixth day of Kwanzaa, and um, we're here to celebrate Kaumba. Kaumba is a Swahili word for creativity, and Kaumba is to do always as much as we can in the way we can, in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than how we inherited it. Ashe, Ashe. Kaumba is in our blood. Creativity is our breath. So we want to use Kaumba, use our Kaumba to make this world a better place, to express our creativity both spiritually, artistic, emotionally, and physically. And Kaumba is something that you recognize and you will see in all of our music, in our inventions, in our culture, um, the way that we do things. So we want to go ahead and light the candle tonight for Kaumba. And I will ask my granddaughter if she will come over and light Kaumba. Here you go. Here we go. Ashe. 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 This is for Kaumba. And <clears throat> do the libation statement. Um. You know, our ancestors came to this land and were brought here. Some of our some of our ancestors were brought here as slaves. And they came to this land, they lived here, they loved, they struggled, and they built, helped build this country. And their love and their struggle and the sacrifice, it was like the sun. They, every day they had to get up and they had to deal with it. And when the sun rose, it gave them more meaning to the day because it was their sacrifice. And for them who gave so much, it is our turn to give back in return. And we must continue their struggle for liberation. We must be like the eyes of the eagle. We must have the strength of the elephant. We must be as bold as the lion. And let us honor our ancestors the legacy that they left for us. And as long as the sun shall shine and the water flows, we promise that we will continue that struggle. And so we will do the libation. This is the Kekomba Cha Umoza, the cup of unity. And everything that you see here, the Nguza Saba, 
is the seven the seven principles of Kwanzaa. The Kinar is the candle holder. The Mashuma Saba is the seven candles. The Mazao is the first fruit, which represents the first fruit of the harvest. We have it like that. And the Muhindi represents all the children and the grandchildren of our family. The Bandera, this is our flag, the African American flag, the nationalist flag that Marcus Garvey came. So red is for the blood of our people, the sacrifice that our people had when they, they came to this country and how we sacrificed our lives and everything. Black is for our color and green is for hope and for the land. Nguza Saba is the seven principles. The Zawadi is the gift that's given on Imani, the last day of Kwanzaa. And the Makeka is what the map is what the Kwanzaa or the foundation is. So now we pour the libation, and as we do libation, I will ask you to remember someone in your life. We can talk about the ancestors, or we can talk about somebody who was a part of our life. And I would like to, for myself, for my nephews, Eric Mercario Lindsay the Bear, the son of my sister, Catalina, Trayvon Dixon, Jacob Terrell Dixon, the sons of my brother, Pepito Dixon. They're no longer here and they, they left at a young age. And so I call on their spirits to, you know, be with us here in Kwanzaa. Ashe? Ashe. Ashe. Granddaughter? Um, Jaya Leitner. She was a good friend of mine. Also um, passed away at a very young age. So I would just like to remember her and all her greatness and her inspiration that he, she has put on me. Ashe. Um, I would like to call on the name of Lorraine Frost. She was my aunt. Uh, she was very instrumental in my upbringing. She was always there with us, um, helping us uh, with whatever we needed, mostly socially because she was a very social person. So she uh, al allowed us to express ourselves um, when we were around other people uh, and try not to be so shy uh, in doing so. Ashe. Ashe. So when we pour libation, we pour our libation for those of the names who we just called out, but we also pour out the, the names in libation for the ancestors, you know, so we can look at, um, I've called out El Haj Malik Shabazz, also known as Malcolm X. Ashe? Ashe. Ashe. Call out the name of somebody else, one of the ancestors, somebody, you know, of historical or whatever. Anybody? Um, Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. Ashe. Ashe. Martin Luther King. Might as well. Might as well. Ashe. <laughs> Ashe. Um, Ruby Bridges. We have a school named right here in Alameda. Ruby Bridges. Right? Mm -hmm. Ashe. 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 Okay. Um, come on. Madam C.J. Walker. Madam C.J. Walker. Tell me a little bit about Madam C.J. Walker. Um, well, she was the first female millionaire, uh, African-American at that, for all hair care products and black products and stuff that we use today to help with our hairs or our skins because not everything that everybody else has used is for us in a way. So she opened up that... that uh, that field of making those available for us. Ashe, Ashe, I like that. All right. Ashe. Ashe. So, for all the ancestors, for all those who came before us, for all those who paved the way for us, we pour libation. Ashe. Ashe. So, we're going to end this. Today is Kumba, um, and creativity is basically what you used.
the whole thing is of what how we came into this world. We have no, you know, there's nothing we can do about how we came into this world. What this world was like when we came here, we had no control over that. But what we leave behind, what I leave behind for my granddaughter, Asia, and what she will leave behind for her children and her grandchildren and for yours, your children, your grandchildren, that is something that we have a, a part in. So we can use our kaumba to be creative, to show that this is how we want. Every day, we have to do it from a spiritual level, a physical level, physical being, that spoken word, whatever we can do to make things better for our descendants. Just as the ancestors struggled to make it possible for us to be where we are today, we have to do what we can to make the world a better place for my granddaughter right here. And for her, for her children and her grandchildren. So that is what Kumba is all about. Kumba is also being the creativity of being able to. I've seen my grandbaby sit up here and do the makeup and stuff. She can do that. And Paulette, I've seen you do the soap. You can do that. Okay? And I can't do that. I can do picture collage. That's all I can do. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that's part of our creativity, our part of our juice our creativity. And when we look back at what the slaves, what the slaves had to go through, they had to be creative. They didn't call it Kumba, but they had to be creative to know what they had to do to be able to survive. So they survived, so that's what we have to do. And we have to leave the world a better place than what we came into this. And that is our job as part of Kumba. So, we're going to end it like that. Um, Y'all know that Kwanzaa is something that everybody does in their own way. We all do the basics of it, you know. And I will acknowledge uh, that the creator of this was Ron, uh, Milana Ron Karinga. I acknowledge what he did and how, what he had to do to do this was to give us something. This is not a religious holiday. It's something just basically just to affirm our African heritage and to show that we have pride in what we're doing. So I acknowledge what he did to create the whole thing of Kwanzaa. And Kwanzaa itself has its roots in Mother Africa. When we talk about the Mazao, the first fruits of Kwanzaa, the first fruits of the harvest, that's what this is all about. So we're going to end this with the Harambe. Harambe is seven times. Harambe just basically means let's pull together. For all the things that we're working for, we are working. When we're talking about Kaumba, pull together. Let's pull together for Kaumba. Let's pull together for Umoja, which is unity. Let's pull together for Kuchichagalia, which is self-determination. Let's pull together for all of that. For Nia, which is purpose. Okay, so let's pull together. So here we go. Harambe! 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 Let's do this last Harambe real loud. Harambe! Harambe! All right, y'all. Ashe, Mabuhai, Mahalo, all that good stuff. You guys have a good night. It's New Year's Eve. Um, I'm going to go out there on my balcony at midnight and I'm going to drag my granddaughter out there. We're going to get out there and yell. And Paulette go yell. We're going to yell from the balcony like Happy New Year. Uh, my grandbaby, she ain't allowed to drink. I don't drink. So, you know, we're going to be out there drinking orange juice, water, <laughs> fake champagne or something. But we're going to celebrate. All right, because we get getting rid of 2020. 2020 has been a bad year for us. And let's just hope and pray 2021 will be a better year. And y'all wear the mask. Wear the mask. Protect yourself and protect others. Okay? I'm up out of here. Peace. One love.